So Reef DVM starting off another barn project. Yes, another barn, but this time it's my barn for the most part. Yet uh, everyone is really going to pitch in on this project for us. Here are the girls. They're helping out carrying all the Schedule 40 PVC conduit that uh, we need to bury the wire that we're going to run from our electrical box over to the site of the future barn. A little teamwork and the girls get it done quite quickly. Then, after we get it all laid out here where we're going to work, we're going to move on to actually dig in the trench. A little bit of time lapse here and one big long hundred foot trench from the box to the barn. A little help from the girls and it goes even faster. Of course they really were mostly interested in the worms that they found, but every little bit helps. So, now you can see we've got the trench here, our conduit laid out. The trench is 18 inches deep. That's a code here in our area. You have to bury your electrical cable 18 inches in conduit. So that's what we're doing. We're also going to to cement ours together here because we just feel it'll stay better when the ground shifts and everything when it freezes. So we used a weld on product. We've been really happy with that. So here we go. Just a little of the primer both sides for that. After the primer you get the actual PVC cement. It's nice and gray. So it doesn't look too bad, although it's going to be buried and the only ones that will see it might be the worms. But that's what we had, so we're using it. A little of the cement on there. Shove the pieces together. Now they're ready to finish pulling the wire through. Now the, we've found, as you can see by the shot vac here, a, a unique way to get our string through the conduit so that we can actually get the wire through. So we tie a little rag onto our string here, shove it in the pipe, and that kind of fills up the space. You go to the other end, you attach a shot vac, and you just actually suck that little rag all the way down works great. You need a light string though, otherwise the shop vac won't have power to get it all those feet of tubing. But with this light little string here, turn on the shop vac and it just flies right in. Pretty soon you've got the string at the other end. Nobody had to work at it. Now, since the string isn't actually strong enough to pull our big heavy cable through. We're going to tie the string to a strong rope, pull the rope through, and then we'll be able to actually pull that wire through with the rope. So, here we go. We're going to actually pull the rope through the conduit with the string. It may seem like a lot of steps, but in the long run it's much, much easier than just trying to feed that wire through any sort of conduit like this. It hits a bump or anything, that wire's going to get stuck. So if you can have a rope on it, you can really get a good tug and get that wire through your conduit. So, now that we got our rope through the conduit here, we're going to actually attach it to our wire. Now, we're just going to use some electrical tape. Okay, a lot of electrical tape. Just to really firmly attach that rope to the wire. We don't want this falling off in the middle of our conduit. That would be very unfortunate. <laughs> so we'll get this thing taped on here and we'll be able to start pulling our wire through the conduit. So there we go and just have to pull that little bit extra rope through now it's time for the wire. And I should probably go help with that. Let's see what we can do here. Here we go. In it goes. Just a little bit of guiding here on this end. My husband is able to actually pull the wire through. Now we've got the wire all the way from the electrical box to our future barn pad. All done in one day, even with all the digging by hand. 
And it really saved us a lot of money since we didn't have to rent a trencher and, well, they aren't open on Sundays, so this worked out. We did have to put Schedule 80 PVC conduit sticking up out of the ground to match code in our area. We filled in the trench and we're done. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it and can enjoy the future episodes for this barn project.